plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. I am bursting with excitement today because I'm going to show you guys how to do an offset a really, really easy way. Now, you might be able to look just over here. You see in all this stuff here? This is a bender. This is a 15 mil former, and this is a bit of copper pipe that we're gonna bend, 15 mil size. We've already gone over this in our earlier video about 90 degree bends. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video or in the description below. There's one thing that you can see here that is not gonna be part of this video. It is this vice. Vices do not belong on any videos about bending copper pipe. Because if you wanna learn how to do bending, Bending the copper pipe on site, you ain't gonna have one of these unless you're really lucky. If you're in a house upstairs and your vice is in the van, I will bet every bit of money my cat has ever earned that you won't go to your van to get it because it's hassle. So anyway, we're gonna find out now how to actually bend a set without a vice, and I'm gonna use two rulers to do it. If you've got two rulers, this is easy, okay? It's really easy. People get it wrong all the time. How to do sets, meh, 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 meh. No, it's easy. Let's go. You're gonna enjoy every minute of it and I'll click too early. I'll click again. Hold tight! First bend we're going to do today, let's say let's do a 40 millimeter offset. First thing you do is get your pipe in your bender. Now because we're going to be doing a 40 mil offset, which is a reasonable amount, we will do a bend of 45 degrees, which means the pipe would eventually come round and stick out along here like that. So before we begin, we just pop our former in here. Right, and then get ready to bend. I'll get my pen at the ready. I'm going to bend a 45 degree, so round to there. So we've got a 45 degree bend just here. Okay, so let's just run along this line here. Just so we know how far I actually pulled this, I'm going to get a pen, and I'm going to mark on the bottom, on the rear side of my 22 mil former, I'm just going to run a line across there. And then also, sometimes I'll put a little arrow on it, so I know that's the one I'm going on. Right, now, move this back, pop out our former, take our bit of pipe out and take this away. This is really easy, this bit. Usually, I'll get my pipe and I'll actually lay it on this piece here. Right, so what I'll do now is we're gonna do a 40 mil set. So, I'll lay my pipe and I'll get my two rulers. I've got one on top and one on the bottom, okay? Now, you wanna hang your head right over the top so you're looking right over it and just keep pushing that up until that reads about 40 mil. But to make sure we're parallel here and here, just run this back there, 40 mil there, 40 mil there, lovely. Using your pen, Mark, have a look over here, hang your head over here. Now take note of where this runs there and there, and that'll run through the pipe like that, and hang your head right over the top, and just make a small mark on the pipe just there like that. Now we get back our trusty bender, pop our pipe back in. Now you see this mark here that we made a minute ago? We'll just push that so it's just on there and that will just be touching the top of our roller bar just here. Now just nip that up, when I say nip that up, I just mean just exert a tiny little bit of pressure on that so it stops this pipe from wiggling about. Now most blokes on site is this is what you're gonna see them doing, okay, for this bit. They'll rest the normal arm, the, mark, the arm that you don't move on their hip, and they'll have a look down the pipe, and they'll just lift this off, and they'll just make sure that their pipe is in parallel line with the side of the former. So when you don't do the bend, it doesn't wobble when it's on the table. So we always do a little wobble table test sometimes. A lot of other people will grab their ruler and lay that across here, and then they'll have a look and try and see if that's parallel. It's looking pretty parallel. A lot of people also look end on to make sure that it's nice and straight. We just need to move this back just a little, just so that's just in line with the top of that there. And then we're gonna bend it round so this part of the arm here goes to the line that we've drawn just there. Right, so we're ready to bend. Just a little bit more. That'll just bring back a little bit, just like that. And then using our two rulers, we've got a ruler on here, just lay that along there, and that makes sure that we've got a lovely little 40 set. That's absolutely solid, beautiful. So there we go, there is a 40 millimeter offset. Here we're gonna do an 80 mil offset, so a big old 80 mil, okay, twice the thing. But also because we have to do the actual offset itself, say the bend has to be kept within a certain constricted space. So, I don't know, you've got a pillar to go around a wall here, and you've come out the wall just here. So you've got to go right up around it. We're gonna put more of a bend on here. We're gonna go between 45 and 90 degrees. So, let's bend away. Bend, 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 and we're gonna stop about there. Just gonna let that flex back a little bit, like we did a minute ago. Gonna get my pen, gonna mark that. 
I'm sure you're about to see we're getting a bit of a theme going on here. Right, so get our ruler again. And yet again, just like we did earlier, nice and easy. Right, we're doing 80 mil, so at the moment that's just looking at that. Move that up a little bit. Just a little bit of playing around, but nothing too drastic. And yet again, just hang your head over the top of the piece. Take note of these two here and make your mark. Just a little mark in the middle, just like that. Right, so that's laying across the top there. We're just having a look where that goes across the top, of the, just the very apex of that rim. Tighten that up. Again, get this up so it's right up on your hip. Sit down like that, have a good look at it, okay? Let's make sure this is right, nice and straight. Have a look at the other end. I might even get my woola. Lay that across there. They're looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good indeed, mad fan. Ready to bend. All right, so we're ready to bend round to our mark that we made earlier. Bend all the way. There we go, it just sits there. Look at that, beautiful, right on that mark. Pop this off. So there we go, the test there. We've got beautiful knowing of 80 mil there. They're both nice and straight. No wobble, beautiful, all done. So there we go, that's how you bend a couple of little wee sets. We've got our lovely little 40 mil set here. 80 mil set. I mean, as you saw, it's not amazingly easy, but it's not hard if you do practice. Once you get practice, it's really, really quick. I think I've earned myself a cup of char as well. If you need any more help or any more information, give us a shout. Subscribe to our videos on YouTube, that's most important. Follow us on Twitter, we're always posting pictures of the jobs that we're doing on Twitter when we're actually out on site, and we also retweet any pictures that you guys send us, particularly if it's a plumbing tragedy. We love a good plumbing tragedy. And the same for Facebook, okay? There's different things going on different places. Uh, and remember, as I said, please do subscribe and favourite and like our videos. Just give us love. If you've got a comment or a question, just comment in the box below. And if you think you've got a good idea for a video that we haven't covered yet, give us a shout because you never know, there's something that we might have missed or anything like that. So, remember everyone, now I'm just going to down this tea. Look, there's actually quite a bit of tea there. I'm going to down it now. Oh, and that's quite hot. And then I'm going to blow steam on this lens at an offset, with my head at an offset of 80 millimetres. Remember everyone, hold tight throughout the night! Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.